every night you probably get into bed, wind down, close your eyes, and... That's it. And then you wake up and it's a new day. But what happened during those eight hours? Did your body and brain shut off? Or is there something more going on? How does sleep work? Hi, I'm Faith from Sleep Foundation. It's easy to think that when we fall asleep, we're slipping into a uniform state of passive rest and sedation. But sleep isn't just one thing. It's actually a multifaceted and very active process broken up into four stages, each with their own goals and objectives. First, there is that hazy period right when you start to fall asleep, and you don't really know the difference between being awake and being asleep. This is called N1 sleep, and it lasts anywhere from one to five minutes. Next, you enter the N2 phase. This is where your brain activity slows down along with your heartbeat and respiratory rate. This stage can be as short as 10 minutes, but as long as an hour. The next stage is called N3, also known as deep sleep. The brain activity during this period has a pattern known as delta waves, and this stage is critical to restoring your body and mind. This delta wave activity processes your memories and experiences from the day, while your body releases growth hormone to repair muscle tissue, regrow bone cells, and strengthen the immune system. Finally, you enter N4, the famous rapid eye movement or REM sleep. During this stage, your brain is almost as active as it is when awake. There is evidence that REM sleep contributes to insightful thinking, creativity, and memory. This is also the stage of sleep when you have the most vivid dreams. But dreams are more than just a series of surreal images. They serve as kind of a mental housekeeping to clean up a partial or unnecessary information. These four stages repeat in about 90 minute increments throughout the night. Depending on how long you sleep, your body may go through this cycle five to six times in an evening. This complex and multi-stage cycle is known as your sleep architecture, and it's the basic structural organization of sleep. So look, it's easy to think you're just resting when you fall asleep, but there's so much more going on, as complex processes are at work, restoring your body, cleaning out your brain, and preparing you for the day ahead. Thanks for watching, everyone. Sleep well.